What we will demonstrate today is the specific use of speech recognition software to convert voice messages from the air traffic control and to display it in text format for the use of pilots in the cockpit environment. The software, based on Nuance technology, was further customized by Unifor, an Indian company, in a period of four months. Today we are testing it with airline representatives in order to get first-hand feedback. This will also help us enhance functionalities on the software further. The ATC and the pilot are constantly communicating over usually an audio channel. And so the audio channel poses a lot of problems, potential problems for pilots because there's a lot of data which the pilots have to gather in a short period of time. Um, and there are accent issues and noise issues and so on. Cleveland Hopkins Information India 1755 Zulu 2600 broken temperature minus 5 dew point minus 11 altimeter 2999 advise the controller on initial contact you have India my first impression of the voice recognition software for the flight deck. I think it's very, a very important uh, development. Uh, this could be quite helpful to pilots in the future in understanding both air traffic control and simple voice messages such as an ATIS on the ground. So here what's going to happen is that we will stream uh, from one device to the other. So assume that this is the, the ATC's uh, transmitter and this will transmit uh, ATIS messages in a loop. The software further has the capability to analyze the text and sort the information. It then displays the relevant information in a standard format which is used by pilots today. Then you'll see that the software needs to be intelligent enough to pick the exact values for each of those fields. All the fields where the values have changed are highlighted in a different color. Yeah, that, that's actually a big help. So if you can highlight the differences, that's we can simply is. see it quickly and say these are the significant differences right. or that there are no significant differences. Right. And the other feature here that you'll see is that once the pilot sees uh, things in front of him, he can selectively replay any of the last three ATCs. Mm -hmm. I certainly feel that this recognition software will work well with flight crews I have observed many a flight crew and they're taking time out from a very important um, section of their schedule to have to listen to mundane um, information being, being transmitted to them and then being interrupted and having to listen to the entire message all over again just to be able to retrieve a piece or two of information that they were missing. Boy, if you can come up with a voice recognition program that can tell us in English what's being said, oh, that would be great. At least you could teach the software to, to learn all these accents and display the same thing no matter what is said. That's an obvious next step. We have to scale it to include the entire ATC pilot communication. And like you said, as soon as you get on the flight, if you're able to say, that's my call sign, it, it will also divide the information and show you everything that's relevant to you with your call sign and all the other information, of course, that's going on in the ATC on the other side. Okay. The uh, demonstration we saw today and the application of the software uh, is very useful. It'll reduce crew workload, increase uh, efficiency, reduce some of the surface area required for flight preparation, and I think it's got uh, potential uses uh, outside of the cockpit. Uh, and and I'm, from what I understand, you're exploring those opportunities, and uh, we'll be pleased to, to talk, talk with you about those in the future.